The Shores of Oblivion, or De Stade de Vegas and Hythe, is a German painting that holds importance in Signalis. Originally painted by Eugen Brocht, he painted eight versions of this work between the years of 1889 and 1916, and it is often connected to the Isle of the Dead in terms of its importance to German symbolism. Today we are going to talk about this level, what it may mean symbolism-wise, as well as connecting it to the Canadian Yellow. Warning, the following may contain spoilers about Signalis. Proceed at your own risk. With that warning out of the way, let's just get right into this. The state is a level that occurs twice, the first of which being after we descend down into the hole in the mines, serving as a level between the mines and nowhere. Upon entering this first version of Distade, we find ourselves emerging from a dark tunnel. This tunnel vaguely takes the shape of the hooded king in yellow. We also see a countdown on the screen. When this countdown hits zero, the level will end. Further in the Distade, we find a wall that is made out of flesh, and running blood courses down its side. This first visit to Distade features several notes strewn about the shores, notes that if read, do not save to our memory. These notes are mostly quotes from the king in yellow, and they say the following. For there be redacted sorts of death, some wherein the body remains redacted, some it vanish quite away with the spirit. One kind of death, the spirit also die, redacted, while yet the body was in vigor for many years. Sometimes redacted, it dieth with the body, but redacted is raised up again, redacted where the body did decay. And a redacted star fell, redacted sky, and a mountain into the sea, and redacted turned to blood, redacted e moon, redacted turned dark. Along the shore the cloud waves break, the twin suns sink, redacted the shadows lengthen. Redacted the night where black stars rise, and strange moons circle the skies, but stranger still. Song of redacted unsung, as tears unshed shall dry and die. As was probably obvious, those notes are clearly connected to the king in yellow. The first version of Gestade also features a version of the king in yellow. This version has three seals remaining on it. The visit ends after a timer concludes, and following its conclusion, Elster is sent to nowhere. It appears again, Gestade does, following the memory scene, where again, after Elster jumps into the meat hole in the Penrose, she finds herself here. The second visit to Gestade features more notes that seem to be from the perspective of Arianne. The first of which saying, please just make it stop, please. An ocean of memories where I ends and we begin. Those of us who can hear its call in the night, an invitation. Something old, far older than humanity, sleeps deep below the ground. Great holes secretly are dead where earth's pores ought to suffice, and things have learnt to walk that ought to crawl. We should have never left the primordial soup. Only through death can I escape the call of the one who rules above all life. But I fear the dark sea that will swallow me. Come join us. Together we will be eternal. There is no escape. We will be one. Those who sing the same song have heard it in their dreams. A dark tone at the edge of hearing. A silent voice whispering to my heart. These notes are complicated. On one hand, they definitely could be from Ariane's perspective. There is also the counter theory that they could be from the perspective of folk. Either way... They demonstrate a corruption of the soul thanks to some otherworldly being, which, seeming based off theory, most likely is the king yellow. This visit is also different in that it has a boat on the shore. This boat is similar to the one depicted in the Isle of the Dead painting, and is the same boat that we see in the Ara dorms. Upon entering this boat, Elster is able to progress onto the next stage of the game, and this is Corrupted Re-Education. On this visit, the king yellow can be found just out of reach floating in the water. This version of the book contains only two seals. So that's everything about the Shores of Oblivion. The Shores of Oblivion is something, and just state in general, that is shrouded with lots of mystery even now. However, as we come to understand the King in Yellow more and more, and we understand more and more parts of the game, it really does seem like the Shores of Oblivion is something connected to him and his ideologies and the book. What exactly it is that they're connected, why they're connected, why Elster is sent there, isn't fully known. One last thing I'd like to bring up while rearing out this video. It is quite unique that in the bottom right hand corner of the estate levels, there's actually the letter A that is just sitting there and present. It isn't in any other first person scene or any other perspective. 
and it's only in Gestade. I have no clue why this is the case, but some have theorized that Gestade actually takes place from the perspective of Arion, and I think that is quite interesting. But that's all I've got for you guys today, a short little video introducing the shores of Oblivion and how they pertain into the lore. I hope to see you guys next time as we continue our exploration into the King in Yellow and the answers that it may hold for the game. Till then though, this has been Chris Rubies, and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.